I want to show you guys how to make a self-watering bottle from beginning to end. First, you gotta go, well, nothing self-waters, you gotta, of course, fill it up later on. First, you gotta remove that sticker, and what I do is I peel off a little bit of the corner, and then I start running hot water on it, right on that tip. And I'm gonna let that run for a little bit, until that water gets hot. And try and keep that on the tip. You gotta be careful not to burn your hands. It's really hot right now. And I'm gonna pull up that tip just a little bit with tweezers because that's really hot. And then I'm gonna go and put the hot water. A little bit less hot. Run that hot water right underneath that edge, right underneath this area right here. It's got to go run down underneath that tape. And very carefully, you can pull that off. Be careful you don't burn your hands. And once it's a good amount of size, then you can use your fingers and just careful, careful, careful. Turn the bottle, not the paper, just hold the paper. just runs right up there. And in case you think that's not sticky, it's very sticky. Now I'm using a bottle. Uh, I cut that bottle in basically half. Uh, I'm going to use two bottles for this project because there's going to be seedlings in here and I don't want the leaves to grow into the chicken wire that I have hanging in my germination greenhouse. So I'm going to use two bottles for this. The first one is, uh, and it's up to you, uh, whatever length you want. This is my perfect length. And you will need some wire, some strong wire that will hold up hanging on the chicken wire. And you will need some thinner wire to get the two parts together. So I'm first going to cut off the big wire and I want to make sure that I got enough. I'd rather cut off a little bit of wire uh, later on than being without uh, than the wire being too short. And this wire needs to go around here. It's got to hang in there like that. And I'm going to give it a twist so I know that where I uh, how how tight it needs to be. Just a little twist with a bend in there so that you can tie them two together. That was here. And then later on it needs to fit over there and it's got a little bit of extra room. So, now you need your shorter wire. You just cut off a piece. Put these two wires together where they belong, which is about here. And then we're going to wrap this, this uh, shorter wire or this thinner wire right there. This thinner wire around the ends move that over and just wrap it around there Make
make sure that that's tight together. And then just move that over. And it hasn't, doesn't have to be pretty. I mean, it's hard enough to wire around here. That's about enough. And we're going to move these ones up. Cut off a piece, not too much. And make sure that they're about even sized. of this wire. Okay, next we're gonna do uh, some nutting with thread. I got some wool and it just uh, kind of depends on what you want to use. You can use basically anything that's thread. Uh, I got some wool, uh, it's about what, 75 centimeters long, maybe a meter. No, 70, about 75 centimeters long. Oh, it's got a knot in there. Gotta get that one out. And we're going to get that thread in the middle and then over under the wire and get the two threads into that loop. And then we're going to pull that tight. And you will have to tighten that up uh, several times as you work. And you need 12 threads for this bottle. So if you've got a bigger bottle, like a Coke bottle, you might need a little bit more threads. So over, under, and through. So I think you got that part. One more time, maybe. Get the thread. Make sure you got them all cut. You're better off like, you know, the first time I did this I just cut 20 threads and then see how much I needed and then I got off the rest. But now I know I need 12, so over the ring, under the ring, and through the loop that you created. Okay. So I suggest you pause me until you get them all on there and then we'll go to the next part where we're just going to knot everything together. Oh, I forgot to tell you, you also need one right in here, in the middle, just before you get them all on there. And try to get that a little bit in the middle. Okay, I have them all on there, but my thread is a little bit wonky, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it wet, and then uh, that will straighten out, and then uh, it will be easier to work with. Okay, and this is how my thread looks now. It's moist. Um, I, uh, I put it under water, and then I dried it with a towel, and that's how it looks. So that's pretty good. I'm going to get our cup. I'm going to put that over there. Could 
diffused a little bit more. There we go. I can just move that a little bit still, probably. got to fit, you know. Okay, so it had to be a little tighter. That means all I have to do is just kind of push that one up and then make sure that I cut that about the same length. Okay, we're going to start with the first two threads, so I'm going to run that down to the other side. I'm going to start with the first two threads right here. Now, I'm not going to make things difficult, we're just going to do a double knot. time so that the thread goes back to where it needs to be. Okay, now you got the threads coming down straight again. So that's a triple knot. I'm gonna get pick up the next thread. And we're going to do the same. And then try and keep that same length as you have uh, for the other one, which is about here. Okay, not again. And one more time to get that thread back in place. All the threads back in front, both of them. So you get like three knots that you put on there. You gotta try and, and keep that about the same length. Uh, at the uh, same level where you're knotting. Now you got the first two threads here. This is the one on the right and the one on the left. And then you got the first two of the third one here. So we're going to do that one too. And you can do this um, as close to each other as you want. But you got to make sure that you got the same amount of thread on both sides. So third one to twist that all back in proportion. There we go. Now, grab the next one, split them open, and try and do your knots the same direction. Left side, over, and then under and through. And it's just a regular knot. And then pull that, do that again. And then you see that the threads kind of go wonky, so that's why you need to do it one more time. And you just scrap the same threads and it will just kind of turn over like that. Everything is in the right place. Now we're going to go and pick these two up and make that second knot. And try and keep that same length as the other one. Now we got these two that we can connect. Make sure that your thread, uh, your nut doesn't go move over to the other side. Wait, 
And one more. There. And now you got like that. And then we're going to pick up the next one. And we're going to do start all over again. So, the first one. And then the third one. And then we're going to grab the other one. Trying to stay at, at least a little bit on that same level. Make sure that the threads don't turn, or the nuts don't turn on you. Two. And three. And then we can grab this one. And that should be right there. So you're also moving down as soon as you did the, the edit the one on the side. You're basically moving down. Two and three. And now we're gonna grab the next one. And this is what you got now. So far. And we're gonna grab the next one. And how far you're going to go down is basically with the knotting is until you reach uh, the end of the bo uh, bottle. So I got about three more knots downwards to go. So okay, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I'm going to grab the next one. Move these all over. And don't worry, it might look as if you're running out of threads that you put on there, but once you uh, spread them all out, like this, you're going to take up a lot of room like that, because we're going to spread them all out. And then we're going to go down. Second row knot. And the third row knot. And you might have to juggle a little bit with your um, threads on the top, you know, move them closer together, move them a little further apart, just to get the right amount of knots in the right spot. These two are still, the ones that are on this side you still have to work with and the ones that are on that side you can put aside for now because those are like the end knots. try and make sure that that thread is on both sides about of equal, le uh, equal length and three and then 
this one. And it helps if you have your bottle there and you got some weight in there. So, you know, if you have no weight in there, that's it's getting, uh, you're just moving that bottle around a lot. This is the last one. And two. See, and this is what I mean. Now I got less room over there on that side of that thread. So you gotta try and keep that a little even. What that's going to look like is like that on the bottle. Once you get everything together, it's going to pull down a little bit. So we're going to pick up the next one. Oops. And one more. And it doesn't matter if you go left over or right over, as long as uh, you make sure that you put your nuts in there correctly. This one. That one. And that one. That one. one and that one and you will see how your nuts turn so always make sure that you grab the right thread and this I think will be the last nut downwards And then I think I reached the bottom of my bottle. Okay, I've reached the bottom of my bottle. When I pull my threads down, this is the, the, the last one, uh, the last knot right here. So now when you're going to tie from your first knot, you're going to go one, two, three, four, five uh, down. Okay, so we're not going to tie this one up. You're just going to go five down. This one is going to go on the other side also. So let's see if I'm correct. This is my first one. Next 
next one is three. Four. Five. So that's four down. After you start your first. This one doesn't count anymore. And six. So yeah, that's indeed. That is five down after you do your first one. So that's a total of six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You go down in total. Once you uh, figured out what your correct size is, that will be this this one here. Then you just count when you start your next one. Your first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh knot. Okay, so that will be seven down for me. I don't know how much it will be for you, but seven down and no more. No more after that. Okay, so we're going to pick up. We're almost there. I got three more threads left, so I'm going to pause you until I get my three threads down uh, on there, and then I'm going to show you how to do the ends together. I got them all spaced out now uh, around the cup and I'm going to connect my first one to my last one and then we're just going to go seven down again. That's the last one that you connect, and then you have to connect all the other threads on the other side. Two. Seven. And 
now we got these two that need to connect it first and then you're going to go down to that side and you're just going to pick them up from right side to left side so now these two She's gonna go down six now because she already had that first knot. Last one. Back to the side again, and you can see now you need to connect these two. Next two. Last one. And then you're going to see that now you need to connect these two and then go down again. So, I suggest you get that now. You will see which ones you need to do. These two are loose, so that's the ones you got to do. And then just go down again until you got them all connected. I just did my last one, and now we're going to grab all the threads, and we're going to pull them down. I'm going to get the wax out of there for a minute. Pull them down all the way. Tie that up. Uh, roll that around, I mean. And then just kind of make sure that you got all your threads going through there. Make sure you got them all. And if you're not sure, just tie that loose. Do that again. Roll that up. They should be all somewhat of the same length and make sure you get them all through there. Now, 
make sure you got that much in the middle and just pull that tight and how awesome is that let's be honest that's pretty awesome that looks pretty good okay so I'm not very good at knotting uh, exactly the same sizes as you can see some are a little smaller some are a little bigger but hey it still looks pretty good you can bend your wire a little bit move over some of the pieces of thread if you need to but I think that looks pretty good okay now we're gonna just cut this off make sure that that's pretty tight and if you if you you know if you're not sure just kind of pull them one by one make sure that they're really tight I think I did it pretty tight already. Okay. And you can leave it like that. You can actually put beads on the bottom if you want, but I'm not going to do that. This is just going to be in the way of the next bottle. And there we got the bottle. Now that just leaves a, a, a little bit of straightening out of the wire. But pretty good. Okay, now. These need to hang on the chicken wire, so I'm going to straighten that out a little bit. And I'm going to roll that down carefully. Actually a little bit too long, so I'm going to cut that off a little bit more. Roll that down with front most pliers would be the best. And these gonna hook up behind the chicken wire. Then not to uh, damage my uh, plastic behind my wire, I'm going to put some beads on there that will fit. These are an exact fit, but you can also use glue, of course. See, these are a pr pretty good fit, but what I need to do is I need to add a little bit of glue. And I'm just using uh, like montage glue. And then I'm going to put my beads on there again.
and just let that dry. When we get started on the and we get started on the part that goes on the top. Now for the next part, I need my planter in here. So um, I think I'm gonna go up to here. Up to here. And because I have, um, on the back side I have chicken wire, I'm gonna go and cut it off like that so when the plant grows maybe a little further like half uh, so this part is going to be cut out and uh, yes because I have chicken wire on the back I don't want my plant uh, leaves to grow into the chicken wire okay so I'm going to cut that I'm going to cut them there with a sharp knife and then I'm just going to take my scissors because I'm unable to uh, cut straight basically tried that doesn't really work and it takes a little bit of work and if it doesn't go left around then it goes right around this out first it might be easier not really easy but easier and when the scissors don't cut it then you'll need to use the knife again I guess Just leaves the bottom part. Yeah, I think I'll just cut it off right here. That's just too much hassle. Okay. And carefully, because these are kind of sharp edges, I'm going to carefully, I don't want to bend it, so um, uh, when you melt the plastic it's, uh, it's going to bend inwards, so you got to really do it carefully. Get the sharp edges off. And there. Okay, now we need a hole in the bottom. Uh, the Actually, the lid here, what do you call it? The cap.
Ok. Now we're going to put that in the bottle. Get that thread on there. And the water is going to go in here. In here is where the water is going to go and this is where the soil is going to come. And when the soil goes on there, this kind of gets wrapped around into the soil. And then we get a plant uh, soil in there and we're going to plant some lettuce in there. And then when this hangs, I'm going to put some rocks on the bottom. And that will also keep the soil from going into the cap. And kind of get that thread in the middle a little bit of the rocks. There. And uh, now we're just going to add soil. I'm going to put a little bit of soil in there. And then I'm going to wrap my thread around so that all the water uh, will go around in the soil. chunks out, make them small. down and get the lettuce. I'm going to carefully poke a hole in there, put my lettuce in. Right underneath the first leaves. Add a little bit of water. Now fill this up with water. Thread is going in that water and this is going to be hung like this in the greenhouse. So I'm going to hang it up now and you will see that this is in there pretty solid. Won't happen, nothing much will happen to it and uh, if I was correct this thread, this uh, wool thread will water the plant from now on. And now you can actually check um, if you're out of water or not uh, in your bottle. So that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, you don't need a greenhouse for this. You can actually just put up two 
pieces of wood and force it and put some chicken wire in between it and then make these. Uh, so if you have a balcony or even uh, in your home, in your room, you can put this up as long as it got some sunlight. Then uh, yeah, you can make this as big of a, a chicken wire fence as you want. I'm thinking of making one for outside actually. But uh, I got a lot of wind, so I, I have to make sure that it's very sturdy. But um, I think I'll be making more of these because when this is on chicken wire, there is not a snail that can reach it. So they don't go over the chicken wire. So I'm uh, very anxious to see what will happen in my little germinating greenhouse with these plants. Here are the first two that I made and they're hanging in my little germination greenhouse. And this is the third one I made. I'm getting the hang of it. It starts to look better. And don't throw away your bottle or your uh, top because you can make a little germinating greenhouse. Just cut it in. If it doesn't fit, fit over each other, just cut one side in to make it fit. And then, you know, you got yourself a little germination greenhouse. I got three eggplant seeds in there. And if all is correct, it should be self-watering from the condensed that will be created in the bottom. So I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section what you think. Bye.